Welcome aboard the Secret Blimp. My name is Michael McCaller. I'm your secret captain. Our job here on the Secret Blimp is to soar the skies, collecting evidence of human doings. We believe anything that captures humanity at its most base, at its most inane, at its most Byzantine, at its most stupid, is not to be discarded, but instead collected, cataloged, and indeed adored. Today we bring you a collected moment from three young women who have just gotten to college. New roommates who are just getting to know each other. Take a listen. What up, roomies? I just finished my last class of the week, which means we have officially survived the first week of college. Yes, <laughs> let's celebrate. I'll get a pizza. <laughs> hey, I like the way you celebrate. Ugh. It's sort of ingrained in me. When I was a kid, I was in this karate class that I hated. But I was such an inside kid, and my mom and dad wanted me to get some exercise, so after every karate class, they'd order a pizza as a reward. <laughs> That's so weird. Like, why would you exercise if you're just going to have pizza right after? <laughs> I know, right? Did your parents do anything weird when you were a kid that you assumed was normal? Yeah, like, my mom collected pine cones for some art project she was never going to do. We had bags of pine cones all over the house. <laughs> That's so weird. My mom made me scream my most abhorrent sins into the wretched chalice. Sorry, the wretched chalice? <laughs> she thought knowing our hateful acts would please the Dark Lord. <laughs> My family was religious, too. We went to church twice a week. Oh. Yeah, we just went once a week, but our church was like two hours. Oh, one time after a sleepover, I went to my friend's church, which was only like 45 minutes. And when it was ending, I was like, we're done already? Oh my God, right? My church's intricate knife was just always slathered in liar's milk. I could hardly hold it when I sacrificed lambs at the altar. Emily, does your family worship the devil? <laughs> no, of course not. The being they worship did inspire the myth of Beelzebub, but he doesn't, like, have horns or whatever. Let's talk about something else. Like, what's your favorite book? Since I'm a lit major, I should say something like a separate piece. But it's Goblet of Fire. No, the best Harry Potter for sure. I love Le Petit Prince. Oh, that one's so sweet. Mine's probably The Hollow Bible. The what? The Hollow Bible. I've got it right here. It's about the Dark Lord's millennia-long flesh harvest, his murder of the being we call God, and the betrayal by the fire priest of Hawthorne that trapped him deep within the Netherrealm. Emily, I don't want to live with you if you worship an evil demon. Look, I don't worship a demon. Not anymore. For me, going to church was one of those, like, weirdo childhood things my family did. When I grew up, I realized it was crazy. Then why is your favorite book the Hallow Bible? You don't have to be religious to recognize beautiful prose. This is a regular Bible with all the words crossed out. Okay, I just wish you guys could accept me for who I am, not who I was. You don't still eat pizza after you exercise, do you? I guess you're right. I and it's not like Karen has bags of pine cones all over the apartment. Although pine cones might be better than all her dirty socks. <laughs> okay, oh my god. I left the socks in the living room one time. Who's that at the door? Hoy, is Emily home? Hey, fire priest of Hawthorne. Yes, sir, per Emily. The vile concoction nears completion, but it requires the final ingredient. Is your heart yet cold enough to collect it? Um, hey guys, I know this sucks to ask, but are there a few virgins? I just need like a little bit of blood. Oh my god, no! People who aren't devil worshippers don't ask their friends for virgin blood, Emily. You've got it all wrong. We want to stop the Dark Lord. If he escapes the nether realm, he shall commit upon us all an act of revenge so cruel the great prophet clawed his eyes out when he foresaw it. Nope, no, we're leaving, Emily. Stay the hell away from us! Fine, but you'd better thank me if the world still exists in exactly 218 days! Firepiece of Hawthorne, are you eating my chips? Can you, like, ask first? <clears throat> yes, uh, sure, sorry. <laughs> Growing up, me family had a take whatever you want from the kitchen sort of policy. It is kind of rude, now that I think about it. 